Namaste. This is Mekla here from Pooja's Dotin. In this video, I'd like to answer the most uh, annoying question in the minds of people, uh, especially when I say uh, you have Shatrubada. So some uh, of my clients are already aware that they have Shatrubada because they see the day in and day out they meet people and uh, you know you can feel that somebody is really not happy with your progress or some of them are very um, you know appreciative in the forefront but in the background you know you know actually this person is um, appreciating me but i don't really think uh, he means what he says so these kind of uh, um, you know uh, some people are there who are very sensitive and they can see through people and say yeah i know this guy is not meaning well for me but at the same time there are also people who are very innocent very pure and kind hearted and they just mean well and good to anybody they meet so when i say that they are very pure and uh, innocent and kind hearted i don't mean to say the other ones are corrupt but the other ones are actually the ones who are you know so much in movement with the world with so much experience and so much baggage they carry that they know uh, you know when they meet a person who is a genuine person and who is not whereas these kind hearted people innocent people are those kind of people who would be like who will think the whole world is like them so they believe that everybody is innocent like them everybody is pure like them and everybody is kind hearted so when they appreciate somebody in a very genuine way they also believe that uh, you know the other person when they are appreciating them they feel yeah he means what he says or she means what she says so this is how um, you know the world is right we have all kinds of people some are genuine and some are not and you don't know how to identify so what i'm coming to here is that you know uh, so when you meet when you expose yourself to people um, or when you build your own house say let's say that you build your own house and you call people for house warming so naturally you've done up your house very beautifully and then they say wow you've built such a nice house it's so nice oh the curtains are very good oh the pujari who did the havan is very nice i mean the way he's chanting is very good the food is good and things like that they keep talking okay and that creates some kind of energy okay whether they talk with good intention or they talk with a bad intention but there is an impact whenever you exchange words it has a different kind of energy when you generate certain thoughts in your brain that also can you know um, generates some kind of an energy now we are all nothing but energy okay other than uh, we think we are um, you know mr so and so we are miss so and so um i am this professional i am that professional i own so much i am married to so somebody i am daughter of somebody i am um husband of somebody and things like that we just think we are that but apart from that we are energy that is something that we all forget so what happens is we all have our own aura some energy around us and then that aura is constantly exposed to the environment around us so what exactly happens is that when you meet people or even if you don't meet you speak their words create a certain impact on your mind because it has some energy so when you wish something good to somebody for example it creates a good it's a good wish i wish you all the best may all your dreams come true these kind of wishes are what basically these kind of wishes are basically you are telling them something from your heart you want them to improve so that is because you it comes from your heart or whatever feelings it comes from it generates some kind of an energy and some day that that will also work on the person who has received it likewise when you curse somebody that also will go out from you as some form of an energy negative energy and that negative energy will actually create an impact in the mind of the person in the aura of the person who is that they receiving it which is why rule number 1 for you not to be affected by shatru bada you have to be as pure as possible and if you are pure and if you feel you know there's no point in being innocent and pure because the whole world is corrupt and they're going to just eat me up and things like that don't just maintain your sanity maintain your purity purity of thoughts i mean speech and action you just continue to be that that is one way of not attracting shatru bada in the future because the moment you become aggressive naturally you know it's common sense that you attract more of uh, enemies so you don't need an astrologer to say that okay that is one thing second thing that i want you to understand is that most of us have different kinds of immunity when it comes to aura for example if you go to a restaurant like a family of 3 or 4 people go to a restaurant 
and all of you order the same thing and you share your plates and you just eat like you maybe you have ordered one dal palak and you know roti so three people share that so uh, out of the three or four people who was eating it one or two may get a stomach upset now the others have not but they have eaten the same food so why is it that it is affecting one or two people and not the others have you ever thought about it that is because they have different immunity levels in the same way we are all very different even in the family or be it outside the family all of us are different so what happens is when we are in the receiving end of a blessing or a curse the way we react is very different for example if somebody will come and bless you and the very next day it may work on you but somebody may bless you and it may you may feel that it's working much much later and you may remember you know that day you wish that i would go abroad for my education and it happened today after one or two years but you are very grateful you know you say i've i've seen many of these people talk to each other like this because i am very observant with what's happening around me because my life is nothing but you know uh, my learning in life is nothing but experiential so uh, and whatever i share on videos also what i have directly experienced or what i have seen people experience so you know it's like this so um, what happens is the immunity is different so coming back to that so immunity is different so it impacts somebody who has low immunity so in the same way if the aura is got energy which is very weak what happens is shatru bada immediately hits you even if somebody comes and just tells you you know um, oh you're wearing a very pretty color nice saree and things like that immediately immediately it may affect you also so you have to be very very careful how do you be careful like you have to anyway um, please take head bath once um once in two days at least if you are able to have a head shower every day you can i think men most of the men do but some women may not so uh, it's always good to cleanse your aura at least once a day with your head bath or head shower but if you cannot if you cannot at least um, you know twice or thrice a week you just see the frequency but be conscious that you know um, if you are facing some kind of a problem meaning to say like you're feeling uncomfortable for no reason you just went out to a shopping mall you came back and you're just feeling so you know i'm not feeling good because there what happens you're rubbing shoulder with many other auras many other people different energies so you're likely to be affected start becoming more sensitive and if that is the case then come back and take a shower and in such occasions like you know you'll feel like okay i think uh, i'm disturbed so then you just take a shower if you're feeling very low and depressed also you can take a shower immediately it will just charge you because water has the power it's one of the panchabhutas so it has the power to charge you with positive and divine vibrations so i can't tell you all that you know always do sadhana always do meditation because many of you say that you know ma'am i really cannot do it and you know when you're disturbed how can you do it it's practical but you can take a shower right drink water take a shower recharge yourself so that is one way of keeping yourself clean from shatru bada and why are you impacted because of low immunity so this video was mainly meant because many people ask me you know i have done nothing wrong i am just doing my duty i am not getting promoted there is some politics there is shatru bada in spite of me working hard there is conspiracy in the office someone else gets a better edge you know i think he's doing some black magic i think he's doing this so if your horoscope indicates that you attract this kind of negative energy you got to be all the more careful and more conscious so this what i'm telling you is a very simple ready remedy like you know taking a shower is really nothing it was like, it's like you're not spending money you're not you know it's not a week long activity or anything it's just your it's a part of your daily routine and if you are not used to having bath every day uh, like a head bath then you can extend it like you know if you take 15 minutes for your bath you are extending another 10 minutes to take a head shower of course i'm not in i don't want to suggest this to people who have who are often affected by cold and cough and uh, you know if you're constantly coughing and you have asthma and all that then i i, I don't recommend this at all or if you have any other health complications like fever and all but what i'm trying to say is any normal average person who who's got a decent health and who has no health complications and he's just infected or affected by shatru bada can follow this ritual now what about those people who are affected by shatru bada but they also have these health complications then you just approach an elder in the family elderly person in the family and take the take out the nazar tell them to take out the nazar so nazar utarna we say in uh, hindi 
ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ವಿಷಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ತೆಗೆಯೋದು ಸೊ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ತೆಗೆಯೋದನ್ನು ತೆಗೆಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯುವರ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾ ಅವರ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮದರ್ ಹೂವರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ವೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ದ ನಜರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಬುರಿ ನಜರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ ದ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ವೇ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ then you have to go for remedies so for shatrubada there are plenty of remedies with pujas dot in i have already told you pratyangira havan is there chatru samhara subramanya swami is there many times even chandika havan is performed uh, you know to remove shatrubada in fact the chandika havan durga saptashati parayana if you read it's all nothing but samhara of all the um daityas or asuras or negative energies and we call it uddhara uddhara means devi was compassionate enough to do samhara to them so that they could transform themselves so that is the uh, that is also one of the remedies we do we do uh, sharveshwara havan uh, also and then we have sudarshana havan the list is endless i'm telling you when we the moment we look at your chart we know what kind of shatrubada you have and what kind of remedy we need to do to remove that shatrubada in your chart so you can um, that way i can say that you can be assured that when we look at your chart we know exactly what is your problem and how to go about solving it so uh, that and that is the most conscious and um, you know effective way because the moment we see your chart we see the planet involved in attracting shatrus or negative energy we know which god to propitiate so that you know you get the kind of divine energy another thing that i want to tell you in fact the reason why i dressed up like this today is that i want you to be conscious about how you project yourself see unnecessarily dressing up like you know uh, when it's not suiting the occasion you know false display of wealth you know you want to show what you're wearing like you know um, yeah okay like this okay uh, i want to be great and things like that so even when the occasion doesn't suit if you just show your wealth in a very um, you know very bad way like why i'm saying bad is because it really attracts negative energy i'm not saying don't wear gold i'm not saying don't uh, dress up well i'm saying dress for the occasion and use your common sense because i know people who want to just go out to the bazaar also they just dress up like this like you know all decked up they go come back and call me and they say please do kartavir arjuna i think somebody snatched my chain and something happened to my uh, my toe ring fell and my ring was in my hand only i don't know when it slipped uh, i don't know where my earrings are i just fell off and you know lot of things please don't do that what i'm saying is astrology is definitely a tool to solve your problems we have puja to solve all your problems there is no no problem that cannot be solved means all problems can be solved with our pujas because why am i confident because in god's kingdom there is never a door closed there is always an opening so there is no closed tunnel there is always light at the end of the tunnel we say no so whenever uh, you approach us we have a solution but i am saying please use your common sense also and uh, you know do what is required to be done and don't like i said don't display your wealth or your plants or uh, um, you know anything it could be like for example i want to elaborate on the part when i'm saying plan assuming you want to apply for a job and you are highly qualified and you are expecting x amount of money as salary and this position and blah 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 so you finish two rounds three rounds of interview and somebody you meet and they ask you oh, what are you doing these days i heard you resigned from this company yeah yeah i'm i'm getting very good opportunities and i have already attended many interviews and i've been called for i'm on in, i'm on demand and i need to just finalize where to go but never do that i'm warning you you know why because the moment you start boasting about your own qualification and the kind of opportunities you're coming you are actually attracting bura nazar or buri nazar whatever it is so negative energy or attract basically you know what will happen this they'll all immediately they'll get an impression right because their mind can understand what you're saying so that creates energy and that may impact your aura so what i'm suggesting is whenever you have any plans till you get the offer letter till you accept the offer till you start working don't 
announce anything you know why i'm saying is because even if they are your well wishers and things like that i'm not saying you know keep it secret but i'm saying don't overplay it don't say ah i attended 10 interviews everybody is calling me i need to decide don't project that kind of a image don't don't do that you know that kind of an image really will hamper your growth instead you could say i have been yeah i i am currently looking for opportunities um, let's see what god wills you know just attribute it to god finally with god's grace only you're going to get a job so everything is happening because of divine grace first fundamental rule is and truth fundamental truth is that okay so that you just get it etched in your heart here in your brain here okay and in your tongue also so make it a habit to tell then you know you'll understand that the whole world moves because of god's grace and uh, the next thing that i want to tell you is even if you are in a very good position like you have a promotion and things like that just when you talking understand that it's because of god's grace you've got a promotion it's because of god's grace that you have a talent and skill and efficiency to work and it's because of god's grace that your peers and your seniors and your management has recognized your contribution everything is because of god's grace if your family is giving you peace of mind to uh, be able to focus on your work you know efficiently meaning your husband or your wife is not troubling you at home and uh, nor the nor your children so you're very peaceful you go and you're completely focused in work you doing all the activities and coming back who is responsible not your family alone it's god's grace which is making them behave in a certain way that you know your karma is not interfering with your growth so always attribute all your success to god's grace then i'm telling you further negative energy you will not create and you are in a safe zone so please understand don't show off ever and attribute all nice things that are happening to god's grace next i have some people who will immediately bounce and ask me you know no uh, okay all good things is god's grace what about bad things karma lack of god's grace for which you need to earn god's grace you know you have to become eligible so if you watch my other videos you will know how to become eligible to earn god's grace what kind of sadhana you should do what kind of dhan you have to do what kind of thinking you have to have attitude everything is very important so for shatru bada at this point of time i'll conclude here because it's a very very uh, deep subject and i can make even 10 videos on this because you know with if i just think of one of my clients you know i can make one video because the interaction is always like that you know it's very interesting and uh, the questions are different and the um, uh, like i said the dialogue itself is very different so i can just recall some of their conversation with you know some of the conversations i've had with them and this is what i want to say so don't show off don't show your wealth don't um, take credit for anything that you're doing and give all the credit because it's the truth that it's only god's grace which is making you move or be still or do whatever you are to be what you are so remember this golden truth what my guru told me is i am what i am because of my guru so that is what i believe like that i want you to say because many of you may not have guru and guru krupa you don't know the value of it so you may think what guru guru she, she talks but the fact is that without guru's grace you're nothing till you meet your guru till you uh, get his grace or her grace so instead you can say i am what i am because of god's grace it's the same it's the same so if you uh, develop this attitude then you'll get good immunity that nothing ever will disturb you you know it takes time for you to achieve that stage but it can surely happen and also one more thing uh, uh, before i forget um, don't show what you have done see i did see i did see i did like you know to attract attention because i know people who have not got due recognition but they are highly talented and skilled so nobody appreciates them and they they want attention so they will just say see you know i am so qualified see i did this see see like that don't do that you know why because i remember one uh, instance where you know a person was not even having this attitude in fact she was very humble and very soft and benign and uh, she was she was innocently learning her own embroidery and all that one lady just came and she said uh, oh wow so such a beautiful piece of embroidery you've done you know you've done such good artwork the next minute the next minute she got severe body pain and she couldn't bear it at all and then finally her husband had to come and remove the negative energy through the nazar utarna uh, the procedure so then she became all right so 
like this uh, you know I, i myself know that many times even i feel very uh, suddenly i know i'll be normal i'll be talking i'll be in a conversation and i'll start feeling a uh, lot of body pain that means my aura has become weak for which i need to uh, do the cleansing which i do so that uh, it's or we you know i request the elders in the family to do it for me and then i clear myself of the negative energy so this is like a constant thing you know it it has to happen it happens to everybody so and and more so when you show off and say i did this i did that see this is like oh see this is very good like this if you start doing then uh, automatically you are attracting more of negative energy and some day it's going to break you if you have strong immunity it will hold for some time but that energy will definitely touch you when you uh, and you will realize that it has touched you when you become very weak in your aura so which is why uh, i recommend that you uh, lie very low be moderate okay and uh, just attribute everything that's happening in your life to god's grace and god's will that's also very important no it's all god's will mm, so uh, then then it will really help you uh, you know in progressing in being level headed in being humble because uh, my guru also says humility reveals divinity and uh, for that to you know for you to bring it to experience you have to be humble and uh, life teaches you how to be humble but make sure life doesn't teach you the hard way and uh, you learn the easy way out okay the last secret that i want to tell you is when you finish doing all your activities assuming that you had to make a presentation where you have to show your skill you have to show your talent you have to display your the whatever uh, you are, you have done then what do you do end of everything if your business is to show for example if your business itself is to show or display or you know uh, showcase you know then what you need to do is you just say charanarpanamastu so what is charanarpanamastu for example if your ishta devata is krishna shri krishna charanarpanamastu so all the fruits the result the whatever you have spoken everything you are attributing it to shri krishna paramatma assuming shiva is your deity you just say shiva arpanamastu shri devi charanarpanamastu nimishamba arpanamastu guru charanarpanamastu any deity whoever is close to you just arpana mastu means the fruits of the action that you have performed you are offering it at the lotus feet of god when you do that also you don't attract karma because you are not responsible now you have offered everything to uh, that form of divinity and you are surrendering and please don't just talk in words you surrender that's how you learn to surrender okay i am also still learning and there's a long way to go i'm telling you but make a beginning these are small things which i have already started doing and i can feel some changes i feel very light uh i don't feel um, you know any burden on my shoulder so i feel you can also try and uh, let me know your feedback so i'll take leave now and i'll come back to you with another video thank you so much mm-hmm.